Welcome to the 10th video in the Metric Math Water Waste Water YouTube series. This video is going to be focusing on the difference between velocity and flow rate. Uh, it will be a great background to the next video in the series on how to calculate flow rate when the size of the pipe and the velocity of the fluid are both known. Whenever we start off with these formulas, sometimes there's a lot of confusion as to what do the names, what do the terms mean. Now the variables in this formula are flow rate, area, and velocity. Well, what does that mean? The unit for flow rate, notice, is a volume, cubic meters per unit of time. In this case, it's a second. The area is in meters squared, and the velocity is in meters per second. Now, a quick little review or reminder of basic math says that when you multiply the same unit by itself, you add the exponents. So meters squared times meters on the right side does equal meters cubed on the left side. Both sides have per second in there. So yes, the left side is equal to the right side. Now that you have mathematically confirmed that meters cubed per second equals meters squared times meters per second, now let's take a look at the difference between flow rate and velocity. Visualize yourself as standing on the side of a road. It's a single lane and you have three vehicles on this road going from left to right. They're all the same size and they're all the same distance apart and they're all traveling at exactly the same velocity. Compare that volume of traffic to a three-lane road, and in each of the three lanes, you have the same number of cars, three cars per lane, and they're all traveling in exactly the same velocity. In one second, it takes for all three of those cars in each lane to zip by you. So the velocity is exactly the same whether it's a single lane of traffic or whether it's a multi-lane of traffic. However, when we take a look at the flow rate of the first highway, you'll notice that in that one unit of time, only three cars zip by. So that's your flow rate. How many vehicles or what quantity of vehicles moved past that point in time? Compare that to a much bigger highway or a much bigger pipe and you'll notice that the flow rate is dramatically bigger even though the velocity hasn't changed because there's a wider diameter or a bigger pipe your flow rate has increased dramatically from three cars per second in one lane of traffic to nine cars per second in three lanes of traffic so again the difference between flow rate and velocity velocity is how fast the cars or in water and wastewater how fast the volume of water goes by flow rate is how much what's the quantity of the total volume of water that went by thanks for watching this math video hopefully it cleared up a sometimes confusing topic please check out the other videos in this channel and put some comments in and i encourage you to pass this on to other water and wastewater math students goodbye for now and have a good day